Hello Beach Class, we are going to read another part of our story today. So we've found out about Lila and her ambition to be a firework maker and her father Lao Chand who actually wants her to get married and find a husband. So let's carry on our story. Now the king of that country owned a white elephant. It was the custom that whenever the king wanted to punish one of his courtiers, he would send him the white elephant as a present, and the expense of looking after the animal would ruin the poor man, because the white elephant had to sleep between silk sheets, enormous ones, and eat mango-flavoured Turkish delight, tons of it, and have his tusks covered in gold leaf every morning. When the courtier had no money left at all, the white elephant would be returned to the king, ready for his next victim. Wherever the white elephant went, his personal servant had to go too. The servant's name was Chulak, and he was the same age as Lila. In fact, they were friends. Every afternoon, Chulak would take the white elephant out for his exercise, because the elephant would go with no one else, and there was a reason for this. Chulak was the only person, besides Lila, who knew that the elephant could talk. One day, Lila went to visit Chulak and the white elephant. She arrived at the elephant house in time to hear the elephant master losing his temper. You horrible little boy, he roared. You've done it again, haven't you? Done what? said Chulak innocently. Look, said the elephant master pointing with a quivering finger at the white elephant's snowy flanks. Written all over his side in charcoal and paint were dozens of slogans. Eat at the Golden Lantern, Bangkok Wanderers for the Cup, Star of India, Tandoori House. And right at the very top of the white elephant's back, in great big letters, Chang loves Lotus Blossom. True, kiss, kiss, kiss. Every day this elephant comes home with graffiti all over him, shouted the elephant master. Why don't you stop people doing it? I don't understand how it happens, master, said Chulak. Mind you, the traffic's awful. I've got to watch those rickshaw drivers like a hawk. I can't look out for graffiti artists as well. They just run it run they just slap it up and run. But Chang loves Lotus Blossom, Blossom True must have taken a good ten minutes on a step ladder. Uh, yes, it's a mystery to me, Master. Shall I clean it off? All of it. There's a job coming up in a day or two and I want this animal clean. And the Elephant Master stormed off, leaving Chulak and Lila with the elephant. Hello, Hamlet, said Lila. Hello, Lila, said the elephant. Look what this obnoxious brat has reduced me to. A walking billboard. Oh, stop fussing, said Julak. Look, we've got 18 rupees already and 10 annas from the Tandoori house. And Chang gave me a whole rupee for letting him write that on the top. We're nearly there, Hamlet. The shame, said Hamlet, shaking his great head. You mean you charge people to write money on him, said Lila. Course, said Chulak. It's dead lucky to write your name on a white elephant. When we've got enough, we're going to run away. Trouble is, he's in love with a lady elephant at the zoo. You ought to see him blush when we go past, like a ton of strawberry ice cream. She's called Frangie Panny said Hamlet mournfully, but she won't even look at me. And now there's another job coming up, another poor man to bankrupt. Oh, I hate Turkish delight. I detest silk sheets and I loathe gold leaf on my tusks. I wish I was a normal, dull, grey elephant. No, you don't, said Chulak. We've got plans, Hamlet, remember? I'm teaching him to sing, Lila. We'll change his name to Luciano Elefanti and the world will be our oyster. But why are you looking so sad, Lila? said Hamlet as Chulak began to scrub him down. My father won't tell me the final secret of firework making, said Lila. I've learned all there is to know about flyaway powder and thunder grains and scorpion oil and spark repellent and glimmer juice and salts of shadow. But there's something else I need to know and he won't tell me. Tricky, said Chulak. Shall I ask him for you? If he won't tell me, he certainly won't tell you, said Lila. Hmm, he won't know he's doing it, said Chulak. 
you leave it to me and then we'll stop there right let's have a look at today's task activity two listen to mrs k reading pages six to eleven of the novel this part of the story tells us about the white elephant. The author gives us lots of information about this special elephant and the characters who are connected to him. Write 10 sentences to describe the white elephant and the characters in this extract. So you can think about what the elephant looks like, who looks after him, what the purpose of the elephant is, how Chulak is trying to make money um, and why he wants to make money and where Lila fits in. So there's a lot here in this little piece of writing. So have a go at finding some facts for your sentences.